to my channel. My name is Kimberly, Kimberly Shante. <laughs> and if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. And if you've been here before, thank you for your continued support. I'm um, getting driven around, driving Miss Daisy. I'm Daisy. Well, you driving. <laughs> I don't know about the Daisy part, but I wanted to catch y'all up with what's going on now. So we're on our way to Best Buy because this good old camera is giving your girl problems again. This girl is really driving. Well, the speed limit is 55, so hey, she driving. Got me over here nervous. So look, so when I turn it on, it does this. Y'all see it going in and out, in and out. does this so it's not reading the lens so the lens is on it is the lens the kit lens but it's not reading it so I have no other choice but take it back because I'm not dealing with this I have a two-year warranty on so whenever there's a problem I'm taking it back to the store oh that car coming don't don't break too hard um, I'm taking it back to the store to get it fixed or I would love I'm gonna be honest I would love they just gave me a new one because this one has already fallen and I feel like it had quirks and things that's wrong with it because when I when they initially gave it back to me from the last fall it was it would click 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 it wouldn't really go to the next this is 45 over here but it would do, do a clicking noise so it wouldn't really read the way it should but over here um I feel like I'm talking to y'all I feel like I'm on the Indy 500 now I said it was 55 she kept going 55 and 40 <laughs> you was getting the cure I think we're getting closer to be ready for license time we're gonna see it I think we're closer what do you think here you ready yeah Diane asked me how I was thinking about do. I said I think I'll do okay. Yeah, I think we're closer to be ready. She's been doing a whole lot better. We just got to go out and practice parallel parking. Yeah, yeah, my head. I took it out. I had it in twist, so I took it out because I was like, I didn't want to look crazy going to Best Buy. And I was trying to film some footage for y'all today. But Kira worked around it. She said, Mom, get your phone and just film it. So I did get to film some footage. However, I want my camera to work. So I had some ideas about how I was coming back and vlog. And then I started having all these issues. It's been going on for a while. But I thought that every time I take it off and put it on, sometimes it would work. Sometimes it would, wouldn't. But I have the insurance. So why am I trying to jimmy rig it? doesn't make sense do it if you got insurance and you pay for the insurance take it back to the store and get it fixed Pratefully, like I said they give me a new one because I am over this all right y'all we put the turn all right all right so I'll be nervous this is my fourth time going through this Four times, the, and hopefully the last one. Cause when y'all, if y'all decide to have some children, hopefully y'all go and do y'all own. This is my fourth and hopefully last time teaching somebody. Well, actually, fifth and hopefully last time teaching somebody how to drive. Cause I've been doing this a while, y'all, a while, and I'm nervous still. Seems like I'm more nervous the older I get with this driving and teaching people. You always got to be paying attention. You see where that black truck at? That's coming out. That's where we going. All right, y'all. Let me get off of here. Slow down. Slow down. They stopping. <laughs> oh, my God, y'all. Let me get off here. I'll talk. I'll chat with y'all later. Mm-mm. Not yet. <laughs> It'd be nice to have one, too. <laughs> Which one is the pro? So what is the pro? Is it a 16? This is a 15. This is a 15 Pro Max. Oh, on this phone. Let me be close. Look at that. I want me another one, but I know. Good look at the price. 
Eleven, no, no, no. And that's for the base one, cause I be liking the. Um, that's Verizon. All of it say Verizon. No, that's an AT. So y'all, I guess it wanted to decide it wants to work, and the lady was like, "You can bring it back another day, cause they got a lot of appointments." And she didn't want us to just be sitting around waiting on them. I must have talked too quick, cause. What? Nothing. nothing. What? You be doing <laughs> I, thought that? I thought I saw something. I must have talked too quick, cause your girl done park crooked in that parking spot. We were in, we were in the lines, but we were in there some type of way. So I did schedule an appointment to come drop it off on Saturday. So I guess I get to keep it for the rest of this week. Hopefully it works. We shouldn't have came out this way. Cause we need to go that way. Wait, tell you to go. You gotta go around. You gotta look at them cars though, yeah. that's coming. That so I was like, we probably should have went up. Been gone. I'm trying to see because I I'm something, but then I needed to see. These people are like they rule the world now. All of a sudden, what happened? But oh, we got out of there, y'all. We had to get from over there. I had to put this camera down, make sure this girl know where she going and what she doing. I'm trying to tell y'all and look at her. But yeah, I went there thinking it wasn't gonna work, and y'all saw on the camera. When I filmed it, it was not working. So as soon as we get into Best Buy, which that's how everything does. When your car is acting up, you take it to the auto shop, it starts miraculously working. So that's that's what I'm dealing with now. Camera was acting up. As soon as I take it to Best Buy, it starts working. So now we're on our way to pick up my medicine. This is not how I intended to start on my vlog, but hey, like, like I'm saying is, you know what, I have all the best intentions, but things happen the way it's supposed to happen. So today, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let y'all know what I've been up to lately. So this week, if you watch my other vlogs in the past and some videos I put out, I did the five day juice fast. I did, what else I did? I did another 30 day. Oh, I did the five day juice fast and the 30 day vegan, which I'm still vegan. Look at that. I would have blew my horn at him. These people are ignorant. And um, 30 day vegan, which I'm still vegan because of that. So now I'm doing a 31 day exercise. So I want to move my body 30 minutes a day for 31 days. I'm trying to pick up a habit. What I realize about me, I have to do things and make it a habit. So that's what I'm, oh, that's worse. So that's what I'm working on. I'm gonna talk to y'all more about it when I get at home, because this is awkward. What are you doing back there? Come on, girl. Boom,
Hey y'all, I know I probably look a little cray cray at the head, but it is what it is. I have started working out every day for 30 minutes for the month of September. I wanted to make sure that I kickstart my routine and stick to it. I've been on this routine thing since my birthday. I tried, I'm, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I tried January 1st like everybody else, kick, kick starting a new routine and doing a new routine. It didn't work for me. So my new year actually started on my birthday. So I started implementing different things to get me started. The first thing I started was making my bed every day. I've been doing that every day which is good then i implemented reading my bible i've been doing really well with that and now i i did the watermelon fast to get in control of my appetite and that worked so i'm doing good with my eating what else did i do oh then i did the vegan diet it went well so i'm sticking with it so now i'm doing a 31 30 31 day workout session where I do 30 minutes of activity every day. So I normally do Juice and Toya and I did their full body, one of their full bodies, but now today I'm going to do Grow with, with Joe and see how I like that. Recently I did a video and I told y'all that I was going to go into start a gym membership. I decided not to do that because I wanted to show up for myself at home and I feel like I can lose the weight at home. I don't have to be at the gym. So not weight, but strength, strengthen my body and just get more discipline when it comes to my health. So that's what I'm doing. Cause the main thing I want to get rid of y'all look, if I can get it. Is this, that belly. That is the main thing I want to work on. Everything else, I feel like I am good size. I look decent, but I need to no, I look great. I just need, I want to get rid of that extra tummy area. And perimenopause is hitting it hard. So I'm just trying to do whatever I can and to stay active. So today I'm going to go ahead. I know I done went through a whole long story. It is 3.59. I get off at 3.30. Should have been got this done. I did put my socks that I normally used to, when I used to attend Pilates. Um, I do have on um, those socks because I don't like to wear tennis shoes in my house on my carpet. So yeah, so I have this video up. Where's my remote? That's what I do. I get on here and start running my mind. I forget everything. So I wanted to show you I got the video up. I'm going to try this exercise today. Normally I do one of Juice, Juice and Toya's. I really enjoyed them. I can leave in the description some other people that I enjoy on here and I feel like you get a good workout. I am going to start weight training here shortly next week because I do want to strengthen my arms and tighten them up. But yeah, I wanted to start off with just 30 minutes just staying, just moving. That's what I wanted to start for the first week to get my body accustomed to moving again because I haven't been doing any workouts lately. But yeah. So this is what I'm doing today. I'm doing the 30 minute low impact full body cardio. No repeats, no jumping. Y'all, I made it. Let me see. Get the light. Y'all, I made it. I burned. If you saw on there, I burned 176 active calories. My total is 232. But y'all, I did it. Oh my gosh. It was harder than I thought. So, if you're looking for a good at-home workout, Look for Grow with Joe. She had me going. 
I think I'm gonna have to get my inhaler. But yeah, so that's what I'm doing every day. I don't know if I cut it off. My daughter was coming in here to help me film some of the workouts. But yeah, that's what I'm doing in the afternoons when I get off work. I did attempt to start incorporating working out in the mornings. Get my word and I pray and I go ahead and prepare for my work day. I decided not to work out in the mornings. If I did, I have to get up at 4 or 4.30 to work out. And your girl want to sleep. This pre perimenopause got me into, you need to get your rest. So, and that's another schedule I did. I started going to bed 9, 9.30 and getting up at 5. And I'm not as gr grumpy. And I get along better throughout my day versus just going to bed 11, 12 o'clock and getting up early in the morning. I'm getting my rest. Outside of the hot flashes waking me up, I'm getting my rest. And it feels good. I'm in a good headspace. I thank y'all for bearing with me while I went on my hiatus from vlogging. But y'all, you girl needed a break. My All my children graduated from high school. And I had to really set in that. We so often, we so often struggle through moments and just struggling as a single mom to just make it day to day and just put one foot in front of the other we just try to get through the moments we try to get through the moments and also enjoy the moments because your children isn't going to be children ever again so they're not going to be little ever again so you want to enjoy the moments till when they get grown and everybody reach that pivotal graduating from high school we like to gloss over it and move on to the next phase. I wanted to sit in it and relish in my accomplishment as a mom, a single mother of four that's been doing it on her own for 15 years. 15 years I've been doing this thing on my own. And I just thank God how far we have made it. Me and my crew made it. I just thank God. That's why I took a break. I wanted to spend time with my children that was at home with me and I also wanted to relish in the moment of a job well done. So often throughout that time I didn't know if I was going to make it. Some days were harder than others. If you, if you know you know. If you have four or anything greater than one, well I'm going to say anything more than two, you know how challenging it can be. I'm all out of breath trying to talk to you. You know how, how, how challenging it can be raising kids on your own. If you got a spouse and you raised it with a spouse, kudos to you. Because that should be less work on you. However, I know and I've experienced being married and it's still the same amount of work. So I'm going to say this. J job well done for me job well done because I made it me and my babies made it and I actually took the time and poured into them I did the things that I wanted somebody to do for me because my mom wasn't able to do it because she passed unfortunately when I was young but I wanted somebody to mother me and take care of me so when I became a mom I decided to be their mom not just say oh I'm their mom and I got to live my life I'm living my life but for me, I wanted stable children. I wanted children that was okay. I didn't want kids that had some of the burdens that I grew up with because of the traumas. I didn't want my children to experience some of the traumas that I experienced. So I decided to be an ever-present mom. I'm, I'm about to live my life now, though. I'm about to live my life. They grown. <laughs> I'm about to live my life. They are grown, so I can do that. So that's why I'm pouring into myself. In this season, I decided to pour into myself and started doing more of those things to make me feel good about me. So that's what this is all about, y'all. Continue to join me on the journey because God ain't done yet. God is not done yet. We have a lot more work to do over here. We have a lot more things to accomplish. A lot more work to do in this house. We got a lot to do. A lot to do with self, self-care, a lot. But 
I thank you. I thank you all. I thank myself. I thank God because we made it through that chapter. And now I'm on the chapter of taking care of myself and getting back into the best physical health that I can get into because I want to be traveling. This next chapter, I want to be on the move. And I don't want my health to hinder anything. So if you haven't worked out today, go ahead, work out. If you want to do 10, 15 minute walk around your block, do that, but move your body. It's so important. At the age we are now, because most of my audience is my age, and I know we're growing, we're, we're still thriving, and we are metamorphosing into all these beautiful butterflies. All I'm going to say is continue taking care of yourself and your health. Because, y'all, I'm sweating. I worked out. So every day when I get off work, I do 30 minutes. And I also do 20 minutes on my stepper during my lunch. I am going to get this body in shape. And I keep saying I, I don't really care about the weight, but I know to lose the belly. Some weight going to have to come off too. But I'm okay with that. But I want to be my healthy self. So when I start traveling, I can walk, I can climb those steps without any issues. So... If you haven't joined me on any of these journeys that I've been on, join this one, the workout, the exercise, 30 minutes a day. Put that on your calendar for you, just for you, some self-care, 30 minutes a day, because it's so important. And I want to be here, and I want all of you to be here too. So please take the best care of yourself. So now I got to go take a shower. Yeah, it's early, and this is how I do it. I go take my shower, it's 442, and go down there and... I already prepped food, so I'm going to go ahead and heat that up, and that's what we're having for dinner. Perfect, perfect. I've been really, really managing my schedule so much better. So, I'll see y'all.